Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Looking Gorgeous and Queen Please by China Glaze. I started off with Neltique's Formula 2 as my base coat. And I may stop mentioning this in future videos just to kind of save some time. I'm pretty much using Neltique's Formula 2 as my base coat always unless I'm using a peel off base coat. So I might just announce it when I'm using something different instead of every time. So I've got my base coat laid down and I've got this little mini of looking gorgeous. It is a beautiful plummy purple and the formula was just fantastic on this one. And my camera died so I had to put in another battery so we're going to go in and finish this nail. <laughs> and I am making a little bit of a mess as per usual. I am a sloppy painter. There we go. Get over to the side. Get back in frame. <laughs> so that's the first coat. And it really does look pretty good on the first coat. I am going to go in with my little cleanup brush and do just a touch cleanup, of course, off, off camera. Um, but it just wears me out to have pooling or a little smudge somewhere. Just, ugh, I'm not quite crazy. Err. And here we go. We're going to go in with our second coat of Simply Gorgeous. And this one was really, really nice. I mean, I'm, if you don't have a shade like this already in your collection, the formula on this one was great. And here is China Glaze's Queen Please. And I'm going to use it as a topper today, but look at this brush. Are you kidding me? So I'm going to take out my little scissors. I'm going to do a little snippy snip and just cut that wanky thing off because I cannot put up with something like that. Make me crazier. So, I've already got it on my middle nail, as you can see. And I'm going to put this over my ring finger and my middle finger nail. And that's going to be like my accent nails today. And I'm going to stamp on the other ones. And after I get done doing this ring finger, I'm realizing, hey, it's a little more darker than the other one, so I'm going to add a little bit more to it, too. Got to even things up, you know. There we go. I took this outside. I was floored. I'm telling you, this, this was crazy looking outside in the sun. I'm going to top it off with some posh top coat, which is another thing I might stop mentioning in all of my videos and showing it because... It's my go-to. If I ever use anything different, then I will show that. But I am top coating all of the nails. I'm going to get everything all dried down so that we can do some stamping. Gotta love some stamping. And I will try to put a picture at the end of what this looked like out in the sun. Today I'm going to be using the Queen Fairy Tale plate and a Fairy Tale Ever plate. I think it's a one. My starry scraper and I'm gonna try stamping with this China glaze I don't have a lot of hope for it but I wanted to give it a shot it's very 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 sheer and I can see it it's very subtle but I'm not going for subtle today so we're gonna go ahead and put this on all the nails just so that they all look the same but we're gonna do something else with them here in just a minute Oh, and that stamper I'm using, I got that from like Born Pretty, and it's like their Starry Scraper, I mean stamper, and it's crazy sticky. I'll be using my monocle stamper in this Born Pretty Gold Polish, and I'm going to use the image right next to the one I was using. This one I'm going to have to line up a little bit better, I hope. There we go. So you've got the subtle behind the scenes stamping and then you've got the in your face stamping and that's what I was going for. And I'm just going to put that on all the, you know, the thumb, the pointer finger and the pinky. Just, you know, and I'm going to leave those other two just layered and those are going to be my accent nails. So here we go with our last one. And if I didn't mention it, that's my clear jelly scraper over there that I am using. I'm going to plop that one on that nail right there. There we go. Time for some cleanup. We're going to break out our little cleanup brush and our acetone and just tidy things up a bit before we top coat. 
And let me know down below if y'all don't care to see this clean up, because I could leave that out. And we're going to finish this one off with some posh top coat, and I'm going to go over all the nails again. Um, I'm a top coat junkie, and you know all of them have been done, even though I'm only showing a couple of them on film. So there we go, all done. There we go. So here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.